Hi friends, Dr. Triya Malde here. Welcome back to another Inborn Error of Metabolism video where today we will be discussing about alkaptonuria. It is rare genetic metabolic disorder and it is caused by deficiency in homogeneity set 1 to dioxygenase enzyme or HGD enzyme. It is characterized by accumulation of homogeneity acid in the body. It is inherited by autosomal recessive pattern meaning that two copies of the defective genes are required to cause the disease. Normally, homogeneity acid is converted by HGD enzyme in the body and used for cellular processes. In alkaptonuria, the absence of HGD enzyme leads to excess of HGL level being turned into hyperpigmented substances which accumulates in various tissues. It commonly present with manifestations in urine, skin and joint from HG accumulation. Most common symptoms is the presence of dark brown or black urine. Excess of HGA excreted in the urine is then exposed to air which can turn the urine black after some time. In affected infant, this may appear as a black stains in diaper. In the skin, blue black areas of hyperpigmentation appear usually on ear cartilage or sclera of the eye. These hyperpigmented areas are also known as ochronosis. In the joints, arthritis occur most commonly in the lower back, hips, knees and shoulders and it leads to pain, decreased joint mobility. Other body systems may be involved include cardiac, pulmonary and neurologic system. Diagnosis of this disorder is based on clinical history as well as signs and symptoms. The disease could be confirmed with urine sample showing increased level of HGA and Additional imaging may be carried out in order to identify involvement of body systems like heart, lungs genetic and joints. Genetic testing could be done to identify mutation of the HGD gene. As such, there is no cure for alkaptonuria. However, there is treatment available to manage the level of HGA and to reduce the symptoms of the disease. Nitisinone, a relatively new oral drug, reduces the HGA level in blood. Management of the symptoms associated with alkaptonuria include analgesic for pain, physical therapy, occupational therapy to maintain the mobility of the joint and drugs to treat cardiac and pulmonary problems or even occasionally surgical interventions are also required in some cases. So that's all about today's discussion. I hope you all learned and understood well. Please let me know what other topics you would like to learn from me. Till that time, take care of yourself, study hard, study smart, bye.